There we go. Let's get a little uh, unboxing going of part of the stuff that I ordered up. I've been trying to track these down. I had uh, Drew Jones from Basaholic design me a aeroport enclosure, which I couldn't get. Didn't know that until after the fact, so we got that up there. It's an 8 inch Versatune. And we see what we got here. Oh man, it's monstrous. Monster friggin' port. Oh. This 10 inch. I'm losing focus. There we go. Maybe not. It's a 10 inch arrow. And I ordered two. Because I'm undecided. I'm kind of debating doing a no wall. Just a giant aeroport box. Because I'm seeing people posting amazing numbers out of arrow boxes all of a sudden. Like 55s, 56s on about the power that I'm going to be putting out out of an aeroport box on two 18s, which I'm sticking with 18s. <laughs> aeroport box, I guess. I would annihilate the blazer and not make it a uh, completely unusable for anything else after a wall. But I mean, I'm still open to a wall. When I got the arrows, I already cut this one open, but <laughs> I got the arrows. Okay, so I'm going to do a sixth order. Try to get this out of the way. See them both together. Yeah. But these were incredibly hard to get a hold of. Oh, look at that. But for some reason, the dude that runs big ass ports, he uh, hurt his back and it's really hard for him to make these. Big ones to go to 10 inch, which I, I mean, I can't blame him. Absolutely freaking monstrous how big these are. And they did a short run of 10. So Drew Jones emailed me as soon as the 10. I don't do Facebook or none of that. He emailed me as soon as he saw the post on uh, the guy's sports Facebook about doing a short run of these again. They only made 10 this run. And I got two of them. I want to get them out of here so I can put the whole thing together and uh, show you guys how big this thing actually is. It's supposed to be 22 inch. First the tunes, two of them. Oh yeah, boy! Man, look at that monster. That is dope. I'm excited about this. Not really, it ain't pushed together, but blah blah blah. 22 inches deep for both of them. Monstrous. So now I got two 10 inch and I got an 8 inch chilling up there. So I mean, I could build that one, which I was gonna do just to throw it in for a while so I could have some base again because the six is just chilling over here. 
everything's a mess. I'm trying to maybe, my dude's trying to chalk me into finding another one and just going two level sixes, which is, mine's an M4, it's almost impossible to find another M4 for some strange reason. But I mean, I do another level six, I gotta do recones so they match. And I'll probably do away with the carbon cone because carbon cone's actually heavier, so it's gonna hurt numbers. But it's better for, like if I was pushing for world records or something, then the carbon cone's obviously the one you want because they're not gonna destroy the cone. But uh, part of the puzzle, Till I can figure out what I'm going to do. I got some other stuff coming. I got a million projects going on. I'm pounding freaking work right now. I just come off a 22 day run straight. And I got three days off for Labor Day. I got to get the rest of the house painted. The gutters got put on. So it's another giant bill. It's always, always setbacks. I don't know why. It don't matter how much money you make, how fast you make it. <laughs> regular life comes in the way of playing all the time it's so freaking annoying I know a lot, everybody feels that way it's so annoying everybody just wants to play I mean life comes first it is what it is I ain't going nowhere it's still in my blood and I'm still going to do this one way or the other but I mean let me know I mean should I wall it or should I just do a massive aeroport box and save the headache of gutting it and putting a wall in it. <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm seeing cats pulling 155s, 156s out of some aeroports. I don't even really care about numbers, but I mean, I'd be happy with that. I wouldn't need to go anymore. I mean, it's daily driven. One way or the other, I'm losing the back seats. I'd still be able to see out the back windows if I do a no wall. I'd still be able to take it out and sell it and, you know, somebody else could buy the blazer down the road and I just have to find something else to put the aeroport in. I don't know. But let me know what you think. I got a lot of work to do here today. This is my first day off out of 22 days straight. The basement's all ripped apart right now. We tore out a bunch of walls. Um, I got other stuff to show too, but I'll save that for the next one. I want to do an Amp Guts video for the uh, Synergy 150.4 X that I got from back when I had my 35.1 I know Synergy is kind of like the hot talk right now because of the dyno video for the 3k but a lot of people have been sleeping on them and I had them back before they even change over to this new line so there's some B stamps, man. I'm happy. I was happy with mine. I sold it. I wish I would have just bought a couple more 35.1s. If I'd have bought three more, I'd have been set. I could have strapped two per sub, but done. But uh, enough rambling. All right, everybody. Have a uh, great Labor Day weekend. Be safe. It'll get some work done here around the house. Peace out. Later.